Can I ask, are you OK? Because I'm Googling your name here and all of the headlines are Martin Roberts says he has an irrational fear that he's going to die at any moment. What's going on? I'm fine. Honest, I'm going <laughs> to... Joking. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a good news story? Wouldn't that be a good news story? I mean, TV I news filmed it. Martin Roberts imminent death. No, listen, I, I almost died a year ago and it came out of nowhere. It was a health scare. And I was three hours away from death, and that did off rock your world when it happens to you. So, yeah, I am slightly flippant about house prices because since yeah. then, a lot of things in life have taken a bit of a different spin. It's like, does it really matter? Like, I was in Lidl's and they wouldn't let me take the plastic trolley with my stuff from the supermarket out to my car. It set up an alarm. And I was like, what do you think I'm going to do with this plastic trolley from Lidl? Will you stop being so silly when I almost died? It doesn't half shift your thing. So I should be more serious about the property pricing. It's just I've heard it all before. And we get so wound up about it. It'll change next week. It'll change next month. In general, houses are a really good thing to invest your money in. And if you can't afford them, there's lots of good ways you can go about doing it. Buying in areas where maybe house prices aren't so expensive, like where I am right now in South Wales, and then starting to build your portfolio. And if you're looking to sell or if you're looking to buy, if house prices are going in one direction, you can make it work for you. Because if you're selling your house for less, then the house you're thinking about buying is going to be less. If mm. you're selling your house price for more, the house you're going to buy is more. So really, people get so hung up on it. And I really want people to just stop worrying about it. I, I wish I had your attitude to life. The things that keep me awake at night at two o'clock in the morning about stuff that I may or may not have done 10 or 15 years ago that are completely irrelevant to my day-to-day -day life. Um, can I just ask you, before I let you get going, uh, Homes Under the Hammer, iconic show, fantastic stuff. Uh, what is the, the, the most bizarre situation you've ever had on that show? I mean, you meet all sorts and you see all sorts, don't you? I think, well, we do. Yes, exactly. I think it's, it's, it's the ones where people have super-duper expectations of what they're going to achieve with very little money. There was a the house in, in Swindon where the guy was going to do a new roof, a new extension, new electrics, damp proof throughout, and build an extension, and ask him what his budget was, and he says £2,000. So I, I want to know who he's, his builder is. Um, a couple of things stick to mind. Um, I, I didn't like it when I went into a kitchen and there was a rabbit hutch built into the kitchen units. I, I wasn't sure if that said they could be closer to Thumper or Thumper could be closer to the oven. Uh, and it's always great when people take the most unlikely buildings and turn them into something. So, like, public toilets. Oh, so we've had a few public toilets that have been converted into houses. So it just goes oh. to show that if you've got the imagination, you can do anything. Fantastic. I tell you what, I wish I could just talk to you for the next two and a half hours, but uh, I can't. Alas, <laughs> Martin, good luck. And try not to drop dead at any moment. I would like Thank to talk you. to you again.